So what do you like about this? Well, I like how the back, it has a back, so like if I want to do a tea party, I could just put my tea set in here, mm -hmm. then go back up, grab some stuff down, just put it in here, take them down, and then I just need, when I'm done, I just need to do it again. How about the inside? Well, oh, there's a nice cup holder. I really like how if you want it to go up, you need you need to be on you need to be on number two. Number two is right up here, and then it will just go down to one wherever you want. That's so, and then at the bottom it's R. That's what I really like about it. Also, mm -hmm. I keep it at two. Two is fast. One is slower. Is there anything you don't like about this? Yes. One thing I don't like about the back. What's that? Sometimes, if you like do this, the back opens up. Ah. So if you go really fast, if you like, I like doing this. Go slow, and then I then I turn it up to two, and then I like doing that because right. it gets it extra speedy. Why don't you show me how you give it a ride? Okay. But it doesn't go up high hills like that. Jeez, that's a Although there are lights in the front, uh, they're not going to illuminate or anything. They're also for decorative purposes, but fortunately they're not stickers, so that's nice. Um, if this is a gift, I'd encourage you to uh, plug the battery in right away because it's going to take about 18 hours for it to charge. And it'll probably take you an hour, hour and a half to actually assemble it. And don't be surprised if some of the assembly instructions are uh, you know, a little off simply because I know ours arrive with some of the people, some of the pieces pre-assembled uh, and the instructions actually didn't show that but you know typically you can actually work through it uh, horn looks like a horn doesn't work that would have been a nice feature you know if it would have actually done that and again most uh, you know, most of the um, embellishments and so forth are just stickers uh, to give you the look of, of the real the real deal but overall I mean the kids actually really enjoy it they enjoy running around the property putting their toys in it uh, they get a little frustrated with the back opening up on its own, you know, just from the vibrations of bumping around the property. And, uh, you know, the wheels certainly do not look as though they're going to last forever, but I've noticed online that you can purchase replacements, so that's also a good thing. But uh, all in all, uh, expensive, but, you know, kids, the kids love it. Uh, so you, know, you just have to balance out, you know, what, what, uh, what your goals are here. A lot of the detail is just sticker work, and uh, many of the stickers don't necessarily want to stay on too well. Uh, I know down here what looks like your suspension system is already starting to peel off. You know, the stickers actually are not going to stay on indefinitely. Of course, one of the downsides is that it cannot actually operate on any type of a steep hill. Uh, and steep hill is rather relative. This hill is not all that steep. Go ahead and try to go forward. Not too bad. Spinning out. That's good. That's good. And also, the age for this is supposed to go up to age eight, but I think that is a real stretch. Um, you know, we've got a seven-year-old here that is barely fitting in this two-seater. Uh, so I think that the most appropriate age would probably be around age four or five. Please move, Mama. I can show you how I go. <laughs> Me going down the hill. Got her own John Deere. Beep, 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 beep. She likes to help me do work around the.
Okay, train go. Well, this is pretty flat ground here. Oopsie. Keep it going. Keep, keep. Okay, go forward. Okay, now try it. Yeah, try it. Keep going, keep going. You keep going.